Hello, this is Richard Hayes. I just want to take a little time and talk to you a little bit about what we feel is happening. This is February of 210, and and uh, in January, the Lord put several people in our body, in our church, on a partial fast. This fast uh, lasted 40 days, and today, literally, we, we broke it at the church. And uh, in the first two services, Hands were raised to ask how many people had been involved in the fast, and I was amazed at how many people had been fasting in some partial way for the last 40 days. And and we asked the people to, David Alfano asked the people to come up to the front just to kind of give the fast to the Lord. And we had such a powerful presence of God today and God reaching out and stepping out into the sense of, of doing stuff uh, in a powerful way, in his presence. Uh, there are several prophetic words today, but one of the things that really spoke to me is that as we've approached this year, and we've been working very hard for many years, as many of you know, but I, I felt like that almost everything we had done up to now was to position us so that we could begin to take advantage of these opportunities and doors that God is opening up for us in this year, uh, as I speak right now, we have at least 12 that are coming from France to Master Builder. We have about eight that are coming from Denmark and are coming from other nations as well. We have one brother who's coming who's involved in about six different countries in Africa coming to Master Builder. We have several strong Mexican leaders who are coming to Master Builder. And so, and Apart from that, we've already done foundations last year, but I'll, and uh, I'll be doing a meeting in May with about five different apostolic ministries in Europe, and plus two or three of our Timothys, plus a very strong evangelistic ministry that God's using in signs and wonders. We'll just be coming together. I'll take a couple of our brothers here from Mexico, and we'll just be coming together in May and uh, that'd be great for you to pray about us with that, but we'll be coming together in May just to seek God together uh, about these doors that God is uh, opening up for us in different parts of the world, but around the theme of how to build. Many of you heard me say the key question today is not what to do. The key question today is how to build. Today, uh, or last night, I came back from the city of Toluca, which is a city of oh, well over a million people on the edge of Mexico City up in the mountains. And I had an opportunity to be with several Christian leaders as well as business leaders. And what was amazing to me was how that I sat down with uh, one business leader in the area who, who knows many people who are on the, you could say, on the upper level of the social scheme. And as I shared with him and just and he asked questions. I mean, an hour went by, another hour went by, and then he he called his mother, who's a, a real matriarch and and their family, and but is a Christian, and uh, and then they asked to go to a different room for prayer. So I went and, and prayed with them with the brother that we worked with from that area, and just amazing at the comprehension and the significance of what. Uh, of what uh, they were able to conclude in the sense of how to build. And uh, just astounding. So as the Holy Spirit moved today, one of the things that the Lord spoke to me was that the same way that Nehemiah stood in front of the king and God gave him favor and gave great grace, the king looked at Nehemiah and said, uh, why are you heavy of heart? And Nehemiah basically said, because my city is in ruins. We could make a lot of applications, but we could certainly talk about the house of the Lord or in the sense that our churches are not doing or not impacting what they should be. We're not impacting our societies. We're not impacting the nations the way we should. But anyway, so Nehemiah asks, so the king asks a question. Nehemiah first says, well, my city's in ruins. And so the king says, well, what do you want to do? And so he says, I want to go back and restore it. We really feel that the, the one of the main thrusts of the gospel is to restore. But then the next thing that happens is so significant in this passage, and it's this. 
Nehemiah, the king asked Nehemiah, what do you need? And the thing that I felt particularly today was that the Holy Spirit was asking us, what do you need to build? What do you need to restore? And Nehemiah gave three, three answers. He basically said, paraphrasing, he said, I need authority, I need power, and I need resources. And so today, I just feel like the Holy Spirit spoke to us and God has given his favor in the sense that he's given his favor with the local authorities, with the state level authorities, and with the federal authorities, that he's given us favor and he's given us the resources that we need to take the initiative and begin to build. So this has been a real exciting day for us as we saw these different people who had been fasting 40 days. Now, it wasn't a complete fast. It was a Daniel fast in the sense that everybody was fasting something for these 40 days. But then to see this tremendous response of the Spirit of God as the Spirit of Nehemiah to build comes on the scene. I'm Richard Hayes, and I'm glad to get to be with you and share these thoughts with you on occasions. You can follow me at richardhayes.com. And I, and I receive emails at ccworld.org, and I answer every email that comes to me on ccworld.org. Uh, ccworld and I just invite you to visit us. I invite you to become part of this worldwide uh, social network. It's around reformation and powerful testimonies and concepts that God is sharing. Make sure your videos and everything else. But we want you to be there and we want you to help us attend what God is doing around the world. I'm Richard Hayes and it's a great blessing to be with you. Thank you.